Hey, it's Joe. Uh, another video on automation. Um, and this isn't a question. This is just a, a headline that I, that I created uh, that I think is important and I, I think is, uh, will interest you all. Uh, and it is how to get sellers to say yes before you talk to them. You know, how to get them to sign the lease option memo uh, to give you control of their property or to, to give you uh, the right to uh, have them sign the deed over to you and do a, a property subject to so you just take over their loan on the property without ever speaking to them. And it's all about sequential marketing. Uh, you go through a process and you send them uh, an email or a voice blast or a text blast that drives them to a website uh, that explains what you're doing. And we've got three different seller websites that we're driving them to. One is the rent to own seller site that explains the for rent method and how we flip properties on a lease option. The second one is a we will buy site, which is basically I buy houses for cash or any other way that you've got it. I, I don't care if they're ugly. I don't care what kind of condition they're in. I don't care what situation you're in. I'll buy those properties. That's the second site uh, that we have. And when uh, they, they can fill out that form and it's got a bunch of questions on there. It gives you all the information you need about their property. And the third one is the uh, subject to for sale by owner uh, campaign. Uh, and that's teaches them, teaches the, the buyer, I'm sorry, teaches the seller how to sell it to you subject to it by deeding the property to you. So all you have to do is start making the payments on the property. And um, uh, I'll talk about subject twos in a, in a different video. I'm sure I've talked about that on the, on the blog and other places, so I won't get into what subject two is. But it's basically them giving you that property. If you want them to do this before you talk to them, so that when you call them, uh, you know, after you get the lead in, when you call them, you say, well, do you understand how I work? And they say, yes, I understand. Do you have any questions about it? No, I think you pretty much explained it to me. Okay, great. I'm going to send over this document and this document, and all you need to do is sign it, and we'll get the ball rolling. Or I'm going to send somebody over to have you sign the documents. Is that okay? He says, that sounds great. Okay, great because you already have the information because they filled out a form. They already have the information because they read your website and listened to your audio, and uh, uh, they're ready to go. All you have to do is sign the paperwork. So when you get somebody to fill out that form, whether it's one of those three seller forms, uh, and you get that lead, that's why we close 80 to 90 percent of those, because the, mainly the ones we don't close are ones that we don't want. You know, let's say it's a, they want to do subject two, but we don't want to take it because there's not enough cash flow in the property. So we could convert that maybe over to a lease option, or we can convert that over to a land contract, or we can convert that into some other uh, method of, of buying that property. But that's how you do it, and it's done through sequences. And where they get an email today about this method, where they get an email tomorrow about this method, next week about this method, next week about this method, following week about this method, and you do that over a period of time until they either opt out <laughs> of your list or they die. You know, whatever comes first. <laughs> you just don't stop on that process when you have somebody going through there uh, with you. And eventually you, uh, they'll, they'll sign up or they'll, they'll opt out. All right. I hope that helps.